First I rise and I give praise to Allah, the creator of the universe. I rise and I give high honors to his lustrous noble prophet, Abu Dhabi. I rise and give high honors to each and every one of you. Um, this is part two of what I was trying to say um, regarding the brother Romeo Bay and a lot of stuff he was saying. Um, as I was saying before, that um, when you're dealing with his claims of people being um, sellouts, it doesn't match up because, you know, someone was a sellout. What are we selling out for? You know, everybody has a goal to sell out. If you ask anybody's intentions, it's usually because what we're doing is the cleanup stuff that we need to do for the temple. You know, there's things and steps we need to do um, to secure members. Um, and not just secure members and members, but secure them in their safety as a governing body, as any nation will. But if you're forging our information, you know what I'm saying? If you're putting the more Science Temple America, if you're putting Prophet Noor Driver on your papers, paperwork, if you're putting our flag on your paperwork, our, our, our um, Star and Crescent, our, um, our Circle 7, these particular things will give, you know what I'm saying, uh, people a confusing idea of who we, or who is real, who is not, or what is, you know, who, who's who. So, being that, um, you know, when it's time for us, or when we are currently working on some things, um, such as uh, baptismal records, where we have, we have, we have other things that we are working on to help secure our members um, and their freedoms and so forth and so on. You know, we're doing it in an organized and governing capacity, not as an individual capacity. And when Taj does his stuff and other brothers who follow him, they do it in an individual capacity. They have no government. They have nobody to vouch for their those individuals. They put all that stuff on the website. Anybody can download that stuff and use it, right? But when they get jammed up, nobody's dead. That's irresponsible. It's irresponsible. Bottom line, it's irresponsible. If nobody can vouch for you, if nobody can stand in a gap for you, if you're in trouble, that's not lifting up. That's not uplifting fallen humanity. That's not being someone who is about the work. All that's terms that y'all be using. And trying to downplay people who ain't about the work. Like, y'all trying to downplay my brother, Tarak, like, he's not doing the work. He is doing the work. He's bringing out this information. He's bringing such a light to it and such a concept, or not concept, but a viewpoint that people ain't really considering. People are going gun ho into a lot of this stuff and getting jammed up. You know what I'm saying? He's showing you the light where it's like, yo, I really need to rethink this. <clears throat> um... You know, just even thinking that fact that, you know, Taj, brothers like Romeo Bay, you guys are great still. You know, Romeo Bay, you're a grand sheik. How? You know, and I'm not trying to put you down, brother. But at the same time, how are you a grand sheik? If you didn't go through the other chamber. If you're a great seal, great seal doesn't make grand sheiks. You're supposed to already be a card dude, a card carrying, dues paying. Moorish American in the temple before you joined the Great Seal. When did that change? When did that change? The Great Seal is, and for those who don't know, the Great Seal, Moors Order of the Round Table, all the Clock of Destiny, all these individuals, even though they are brothers and sisters <clears throat> by blood, by governing portion and standards of this, by by blood, but by governing uh, capacity and, and organi organization capacity, they are not. We are not the same. They are not part of the Moorish Divine National Movement because they were not approved by the Moorish Science Temple of America. The Moorish Science Temple of America is the cornerstone of the movement. Everything is supposed to come out the temple. If there's any auxiliary, any groups that are supposed to be fashioned. For the Moors, it should be approved and, 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 and you know, and um, authorized by the Moors Science Temple of America. You know, the Great Seal comes out from people who follow CM Bay. 
and they started this thing called a gray cell. Now, there are, I think there are several gray cells. There's not even the original one, but there's several of them operating because the gray cell began to deal with the sovereignty issue. I think the early gray cell were really just doing what law and doing it on the capacity to um, secure your um, nationality and your um, and your name and your name correction. They were dealing with that part in the body. But after a while, they really started integrating a lot of that patriot, um, that patriot teachings and sovereignty teachings, and they started running with it. Now, the Moors of Order Roundtable is Taj's version, Taj and Raz and Abdullah and them's version of the, uh, the um, uh, Gray Seal. But Gray Seal is not supposed to authorize any temples. They ain't, they're not supposed to authorize anything. They have their own uh, titles they give them people. Amir, and Sultan, and Wazir, all those are, they got those. And I, I got the, the, um, the Moors, um, the, uh, the section and the rudder. I have that book. And they got the positions in there. They have nothing to do with the Moors Science Temple of America. And that's where people are getting confused. Remember, they have nothing to do with the Moore Science Temple of America in nature, in origin. So they're not part of the Moore's Divine National Movement. You know. Um, now, if anyone can show me, please, out there, if anybody can show me a document where they got um, approval or they connected with one administration of Grand Body, let me know, please. Um, but at this point, they have not, they are not, members of the divine, Moore's Divine National Movement. Um, so that being said, everything will be cool. And you as a brother, um, you know, Brother Ramiel Bay and Taj, everything will be cool if y'all disassociate yourselves from the Moore's Science of America and the Moore's Divine National Movement and say that you are a separate entity and these are separate teachings from what the prophet was teaching and what the temple offers. If y'all are that clear and y'all do that, we would even, we leave you alone because at that point, people can't associate it with what we're doing. And that's our biggest issue. Our biggest issue is associating it, you know, with what we're doing, jamming us up, you know, um, and, you know, getting people hurt, you know. We would prefer you stop, period. You know, the right to travel, yeah, you have the right to travel if you're walking on foot. But if you're driving a car, and that car has to be state has to be state approved before it gets get on a lot. That's why you buy it at a lot and it already has the um inspection stickers and all that. It has to go through inspection and all that. All the cars you buy go through inspection. They already come through the state got approved, the dealership, license the dealership. The cars got to technically get licensed. Unless you are building a car from scraps and you built the road from scrap, from you built your own road, then you can drive on your own road with your own built man made, handmade car by yourself. You know what I'm You could drive a go kart, make a go kart. You don't need a license for a go kart. It don't have a motor, but it's a go-kart. You can go on the dirt road. The police ain't going to pull you over on a dirt road. That is not. You're fine. That's, there you go. You're right to travel. But if you're driving down one of these roads, you know what I'm saying, whether it be Westfield Avenue, Federal Street, uh, Route 130, I'm give you in, in uh, Jersey, uh, I don't know, Broad Street, Market, in Philly, JFK Way, whatever it is, and you get pulled over, that's just that's what it is. You, you you know the 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 taxes go to that. And when you want to get into whoever taking taxes, stealing taxes, whatever, regardless, like the the taxes get allocated to that. So therefore, there's a system already into place. So then you want to be out the system, but at the same time, you're trying to use the system, but not trying to be. But you're trying not to be liable for what goes on in the system. You know what I'm saying? The things are things are put in place for protection. It's not always there to um, uh, um, jerk the people. Don't get me wrong. Yes, they um, 
you have um uh, you have um certain entities, people who have gone in and people behind the scene who are using the system and the laws are in place in order to do things that are injustice. We understand that. Yes, with the prison system, uh, uh, you know, 13th Amendment, if you saw the movie 13th, uh, the documentary, and then using that and uh, unjustly, unjustifiably criminalizing our people, um, unconscious Asiatics or so-called black people, or, um, you know, using uh, tickets and how just to, just to get quotas, you know, and fill up the prisons through the ticket system and the traffic and pulling people over. Yes, that happens. There's is people who it's not the whole system. There's not the system in the whole, but there's people who use that. And yes, that's true. But see, how do you do that? Because you can't say, well, what Todd's okay. I understand what Todd's is doing. He's fighting it from his point. I understand that. But at the same time, guess what? They're criminalizing his tactics as well. Those tactics are being criminalized. So now, before you even get a chance to put uh, affidavit on the table, they're gonna lock you up for for paper terrorism. So you got to think, you know what I'm saying? So that's all we want to do, like, you know what I'm saying? Because it's getting heavy, God did. If we keep pushing this stuff, man, it's not building a nation. Where's going to be your institutions after that? Where's going to be your schools and all that stuff? You got to have a government to claim your nationality. Where's your government? You know what I'm saying? We're protected under the First Amendment, not the Great Seal. But it seems like y'all like to piggyback off of what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? But that's the nature of y'all do. Y'all wanna y'all wanna use it for your advantage, but don't wanna don't wanna uh uh be committed to anything. And that's what that whole movement is. I'm not committed to it. I'll use it, but I'm not committed to it. I'm telling you, when I had my court case, we were using everything. We were we were we were using wash tall paper, we were using R V Bay stuff, we were using a Mexamore we had our Mexamore Empire. Man, we man it was like confusion to the max. So, you know, um, and you don't take responsibility. Like, when, I, at, when I was looking at this stuff, I was like, Yo, what the heck? Like, what am I? Am I a Moorish American? Am I with the temple? Or when I'm with the watch? What am I? Who am I with? Moorish national, Moorish nation. What's the Moorish nation? Because if I was somebody on the other side looking at this paperwork, that um, somebody gave to me. I was like, "What is this? Who's a Moorish name? Who is your representative?" Because that's how government works. A citizen or a member gets in trouble, then the government and administration steps in and helps. Not, um, you know, what I'm saying, not anybody else. You know, what I'm saying, not not you on your own. That's not how it works. So, Moors, look, man. Like I said, we ain't sellouts. Sellouts drop down. We don't drop. We ain't dropping down. We talking to your face. Bottom line, if we are sellouts. We have. We would get paid for this. Anybody getting paid for this? You know what I'm saying? Anybody trying to get famous? If we yeah. The goal is to push out more right teachings of the prophet. So we're spearheading. Yes, we're going on tour doing that stuff because that's the same stuff that you know you guys been doing for years, for decades. And we need the temple hasn't been doing that. It hasn't set up any ministry to, to combat or, or show the right teachings. So now this is what's going on. You know, it's better late than never. So, you know, we ain't no sellouts. Ain't nobody getting no check under the table. We ain't dropping dime on nobody. And for that little comment you made, bro, about my former grand sheet and when you got the FBI thing, yeah, that was called briefing. Even when I was working with, um, uh, CMO and all that stuff over in Jersey as a case manager. We were brief on different groups and stuff like that. That doesn't mean he didn't, you know, and also Taj know. Taj know he on the FBI list and he's on the FBI watch list. Doesn't mean that they're going to apprehend him. That means they're going to keep an eye on him. So they, they know, they, they got all his videos and stuff. They know. So my grand, she ain't got to tell, he already, you know, got to tell Taj nothing. Taj knows. Roz knows. That's why uh, 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 Queen Valera is, is not visible right now. They know. They all they all on the FBI watch. So, you know what I'm saying? It's just that the FBI ain't, you know, ain't moved in on them. But they ain't watching them. That's all. They on the FBI watch list. There's a difference. 
You know what I'm saying? And another thing about um you telling people about the temple being infiltrated. Infiltrated by who? If you say FBI, FBI only investigated one temple, and that was Kirkman Bay Temple, his administration, only because of the teachings of being Asiatics. And at the time, we were at war with Japan. So they were looking for any dissenters. But they, if you show all the people, yeah, go look at the FBI files with the Morris on South America, and you will see that what their conclusion, look at the conclusion, what they found, that they had no problem, that there was no dissent here in the temple, and that these people, you know, followed the law and so forth and so on. So you want to, so, but where's the infiltration, right? Where's the infiltration that you're talking about? You know, and it didn't infiltrate the original grand body because the original grand body went underground after Edward Melio passed form. So, you got to know your facts. Don't put that, you know, FBI, all that FBI files, go look at the FBI files. Bro, you didn't look at it and you didn't study it well enough either to know, to even point somebody in that direction. Because obviously you would, you know, unless you saying it, you know, not you know without presenting all the facts for a reason that happens people do that because they have an agenda but yeah overall bro we ain't no sellouts there is no sellouts for people who are my um morris miles of mission page um yeah bro there ain't no sellouts here you know i still got high respects for Taj. Taj is a uh you know Taj is a uh a, a great figure um, a role model figure for his kids, uh, grand, I mean, his, grand, his um, nieces, his grand nieces. You know what I'm saying? That man has a heart and he really cares, you know, about his family. You know, I see him all the time. He's humble, you know, on, on different level. He, he, he's a teacher and he likes to share. So, you know, but at the same time, you know, everybody has their faults and some, and this is where he falls at. And we're trying to clean it up, you know, and we would love to dialogue with the brother. You know, and that's what we want. You know, we're not trying to bash or, you know, bash them, but, yo, those teachings, we'll bash those teachings. And like we said, like I said before, you know, I wouldn't be here, a lot of people wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Taj because he brought all that information out. You know what I mean? And we wouldn't know yeah, a lot of stuff. So, you know, he's, you know, he's definitely a, he is a Moorish legend. I'm going to say he is a legend, you know what I mean, in that point, you know, for bringing information out. But every legend has a has an error. Now, every day ain't perfect. So, you know, you know, you want to do a documentary movie on it? Yeah, he brought the information. He did this, that, that. Yeah, but here's, then later on in the documentary, here's where he messed up. You know what I'm saying? He took the idea of nationality and status, and he opened up a whole conversation about it that was in depth. And it was like, wow, nobody ever expounded on nationality and status like he has done on that mission. And that's why I give him credit for it. the other stuff, right? The travel, all that stuff. That that's the, you know, if you you know that's the stuff you crumble up and throw away. You take the, well, you other stuff, but then the other stuff you do away with. All right, the uh, time is running. I'm going to say peace and love to all my um, Moors and those who are under claim, who haven't declared their nationality yet. I love y'all. Um, we'll get up. Peace and love.